that's what they just say. Riding down 17, how about them? King shit, man. 803 Fairfield, what it is. Good with you. So, man, tell us where you from. Well, I'm originally from Baltimore. I mean, but I live in Fairfield. That's where I basically grew up at. I mean, okay. So, I mean, what brought you down from Baltimore? Oh, my peoples. Like, my peoples just moved down here. See, when I was young, I ain't really know my people had family in soccer. I ain't really know if it was like that. I mean, but kind of find out like yeah that's where they grew up at so they came back home and I just happened to be in the mix with it. Right. Yeah so so kind of describe growing up in Fairfield man. How how was it? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, growing up in Fairfield man. I can't really say man, it's something you just gotta experience. Yeah. You ain't got no title to it, you know what I'm saying? All good, all bad. Whatever you make. Right. Yeah, whatever you mean. So go ahead and explain your name for the people. I well, Jando come from the word Jansen. I mean, Jansen is a word like my brother's made up. It's just something that whatever you do and how you do it, Jansen. Like whatever, it could be your phone. I Man, it could be a story. It could be the ending of a story. It can be. Whatever you want to make it, that's what it is. But like, I had, I was rapping one day, and my man Tom, shout out to Tom from Goddamn It's a Four, Goddamn Ben Roos. But um, yeah. So I'm, you know what I mean? I'm in there rapping with him, and I just happened to say Jansen Jando, and it just kind of stuck. Like Tom just took it and ran with it. Like Jando, he just started calling me Jando from then on. So I just stuck with it, Jando. All right. Yeah. So, kind of tell us like how long you've been making music. Shit, bro, I was on the lunch table, niggas. I was always, I could always rap. You know what I mean? But I probably started taking it serious. I say when I got my own studio, that's when I started taking it serious. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. But still, even still, then I wasn't really taking it serious. I was just trying to get my feet wet. Feel me? Right. Yeah. Right. You remember that first song you wrote? <laughs> first song. I don't be real, man. My first song, I was in high school. Like, it was probably, I was probably like, I was probably like ninth grade. I had once in the studio with my brother and shit. Like, them boys was rapping. I just, I was just always the rap to my brother. Like, yeah, just come on. So, and we did this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't like that shit at all. Like, them boys took their time on that shit. Man, I already had my shit broke. Like, them boys took like three, four hours, man. I'm like, man, come on, man. Like, y'all just gonna throw me out there. I'm talking, I done had my shit done like 15 minutes. They take it forever. I'm like, man. So the song kept playing and playing. I'm like, man, this is some bullshit. I'm just thinking the whole time. But I had started letting some people here. They was like, shit, bro, that shit hard. And I was just like, don't lie to me. That's how I'm like, yeah, I mean. But yeah, though, ever since then, man, I just been, I been fucking shit up. Right. That's what's up. <laughs> So, I mean, what's the first song that you recorded that you, you probably like? That you felt, you felt you progress? First song I got, hmm. That I actually like, like, that I wanted people to hear. Probably some Cousin Effect on oh, Man Dump from Only Bird. Yeah. I, I love that song. <laughs> All right. So I mean, I probably pretty much your brothers influenced you to get into music. Oh. Not necessarily influenced me, but like, they ain't. Yeah, no, but like, really, it was like my homeboys and stuff. Like, man, I got home. You know what I mean, I used to when I was like in middle school, I used to go spend a night at my homie house every weekend, and it's just to get out the house because I ain't really get down with the people in the hood, in the hood I grew up in yet. Like. I was still that young, feel me? Like, I know y'all, but I don't know y'all. But yeah, I used to go spend night up there every weekend. And like, my homeboy, bro, he used to make me rap. Like, yo, this little nigga rap, yo, man. Man, spit something for him, yo. He, like, every time I used to rap, he used to be like, Papa Doc, 
versus B rap. He always used to say that, so like, <laughs> but yeah, that's, and then from then on, I just kind of got comfortable rapping like around people and in front of crowds and stuff like that. Like, you know, you be shy in the beginning. I don't care what you say. You be shy, like your heart be beat. You be down there about to piss on yourself. Yeah. So tell us how you feel about the state of hip hop in South Carolina. I'm fucking with you. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. Um, matter of fact, the hardest song I heard of, I ain't gonna say the hardest, but the song I get down with most, I think it would be that Black Zay. I get down with Black Zay, Black Zay hard. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as like any artists that's in South Carolina, like who have you collab with? Man, my, my collab would be homies. Right. Like, if I, if I know you, even if you can come around me and be playing rapping, but if I feel as though you can actually rap, hey, bro, we rap. That's what, come on, bro, let's make this song. Like, it's been it's been a couple people out of me like man look you making this song ain't no question like yeah we gonna do this we had we ain't got nothing but time you better make this song yeah like cause and effect that was one of those songs I made like yeah bro just go ahead eat it up feel me and fuck the whole song up. <laughs> yeah so I mean would you wanna do a feature uh, with Black Zach hell yeah hell yeah anybody else. I want to get some of my man Wap Face. Yeah, Wap Face. And Scarface, Tino. Yeah, both of them boys. Them boys turning up. Matter of fact, Tino just dropped a mixtape. That shit going stupid right now. Yeah. Okay, producer wise, who, who uh, produce your music? Man. Do you have like a, one particular producer or? King Tank, he with us. He with us too. And Mizzy, both of them boys. Um, Tino, Scarface, Tino, you can make it beat. I got a couple beats from him. Uh, who else? It's a dude. I just got a beat from um, A Rich. Yeah, A Rich. A Rich turned up on the beats. Okay. Man, my man, Daniel Drake, I saw him on the beat. The big old crazy. Wow. Yeah. Alright. Go ahead and describe your sound or your style. Jinx, that'd be my sound. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, like, everybody has a routine as far as like when they go and start writing to get their creative thoughts. Is there a certain ritual that you do or a certain place that you go? Hmm. I'm gonna be real, bro. in the studio we do every day so it ain't really no <laughs> really but i'm gonna be real with you though i need a good ass laugh like before i go in the studio i need a good ass laugh like i normally get it like it'd be funny as hell and i just be ready to rap like i didn't got my nervousness up for me. not even nervousness but like i just got to you know you just gotta shake the dust off right every song is different so you ain't gonna take every song the same that's true yeah so name three to five things that you need when you go to the studio. Five? You want three, me to go three to five? So that means four. That's what you want. I, I mean, <laughs> it could be one. If it's one thing, two things. Uh, what you need? What do you need? Definitely need something to drink. My man told me that. Definitely need something to drink. What's your favorite drink? What you got? What you usually like to drink? Bro, I'm be real. Bro, I fuck with the brisk, the dollar brisk. The bitch, the lemonades be crazy. Then you do your own little shit to the lemonade. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, I need to listen to some old shit too. Something that old that we did. Like, just hey, you know, cause when you you constantly when you constantly hear yourself, you critique yourself. Like, oh, I should do this better than any other. On the next song, I'm gonna try this, and then you be, you be thinking about little stuff off in your head. So yeah, um, what else? I need a full phone, like a charge, charged up phone. Like, phone cannot die while I'm in the studio. 
That's the question. Got to have charges. Got to have backup charges. Got to have a good vibe, man. Good people. I mean, yeah. People that be in me in studio, though, man. People I grew, basically grew up with. So it's always good vibe, man. We brothers. That's how we come. Okay. Yeah. So tell everybody, like, the single right now that you're pushing. Run it back. I mean, kind of. Who's featured on that song? SAB man, the great I mean King shit man Royce. That's that's basically be my feature though. But even I mean, even if like I get a feature with a home or somebody I mean I heard or nine times out of ten I've met from the previous time in life. I mean, so yeah, I try to keep my features in the family. Make the family big, build the family up, bring it back to the family, feel me? That's real. Yeah. So, Running Back, that's the single you're pushing. So, describe uh, or tell us um, the making, you know, the, the making of Running Back. What, what, what was what like going through your head when you uh, wrote uh, Running Back? Bro, to be real, I couldn't even tell you. Hold on. Um, I, to be real with you, the song, the song wasn't even, it wasn't even Running Back in the beginning. It was just... I forgot what the hell bro was saying that shit, but I just end up coming out my head like, oh, niggas try to catch me, but they too slow. And then bro right there, he was like, hold up, bro, keep going, keep going. Keep going. So I, I mean, put the phone, I, whoosh, I, down. I be thinking so damn fast, I fuck around, forget something. Like, oh, what I said? Had to come over to the news, so I just jotted down real quick. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So then, like, it was at, it was probably like one, two o'clock in the morning, I was like, you know what, bro? We going to the studio, business hours tomorrow. We gonna get like four or five. We gonna make sure we get this shit right. I mean, so got to the studio. It was just, just me and Bert. Yeah. So how that came about? It wouldn't even be real with you, bro. We did the song. I ain't hear the song in like a month. Did it? Never heard it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all my homies know that. I'm like, damn, bro. Somebody sing me this. Sing me this song. And that's what niggas get to talk about. Man, I ain't got no data, man. Like, man, come on, bro, sing the song, bro. So then one night, bro, I ended up pulling up on me with a CD with the song on it. And you know, I old school pop in the computer, get the little cord with the phone or whatever, send it to the Android first, send it to your email from the Android. Yeah. yeah. So I know you say you usually do, you know, you, you write your own music. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about artists that don't write their own music? Shit, turn up. I can't, I can't down you for how you create. I mean, I, I can't down you for that. If that's, how, if that's what you want to do, that's how you want to do it. And you want to make sure it's hard. That's how I feel it, though. Because it's a, it's a different vibe. I ain't on flex, man. Some verses I came up to run it back. That's a verse I came up to doing with that same night. Like, yeah, bro, we going to go do this in the morning. I mean, I ain't had nothing to it. Like, the whole song was made that same night. That same like within like, go ahead, go shit. He told me he got back to the like 11, so I probably got there like 12, 12, 30. Like, yeah, bro, I got the song. Ooh, ooh. So, yeah, so I can't down people on how you create your shit. You gotta get it how you get it. I can't stop you from, oh man, I don't want you to freeze. That's some bullshit, cuz you gonna fuck that shit up, go fuck that shit up. <laughs> For real. That's what's up. So for the people that want to know about your mixtapes, EPs. Mixtape, man, ain't got got shows on Spin Rilla right now. Hosted by DJ Ty. Salute, man. Fucking with Ty Hard, man. Them boys go stupid. Yeah, man, I'm about to drop this Ronald Reagan. So I ain't gonna say no date. I'm gonna drop this Ronald Reagan, though. Okay. King Tank on there. Mizzy on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Couple other people. Scarface on there. Yeah. Couple other. Okay. Dre on there. Bang your dream on that. Yeah. yeah, man, we working, man. That's what we do, Fairfield. Okay. Yeah. And so you say you got your own studio. Basically. So, so you you be putting in time, then you putting in work. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We, man, bro. I'm gonna be real. I, man, my nephew just cracked my screen on my computer, man. I got like, I know at least 200, 250 songs just from. Yeah, I mean, not even whole finished songs, but just songs, period. Something that you can use, too. So, so, yeah, man, we working. So, um, for everybody that want to get in contact with you for booking, man. and 
anything like that, go ahead and drop all your social media information. All Facebook, Trey Jackson, that's T R E J A N N S O N. I G, Jando Jammy, J A M M N N. Jando J A N N D O E. I got the Twitter, man, but I don't know how to use that shit. You can follow me on Snapchat too, Jando X2. And who is Jackson? You can follow me on both of them. Alright, you got any upcoming shows? Man, we working. I just got some shit in my inbox earlier. I ain't really. Hold on, what is it? It's next week. Thursday. No, not Thursday, Saturday. I forgot where the police at, but um, August 12th, yup. Next okay. week. Okay. Yeah, I forgot where the pole, where that shit is. Um, Dynasty. Dynasty Night Light. Yeah, that's what that shit called. Alright. Yeah. Shit, man. Hey, we appreciate you coming through the DMT. Oh, yeah, All right, bro. Always, always shit, shit man. Keep Fuck with y'all, boy, bro. Yeah, we all work, man. Y'all want features, anything, man? Just hit me on IG. I respond immediately. I mean, I'm trying to get that bag up. Alright. Go. Alright. Tough guy, watch out. Catch me in your side. Riding down 17, high box in my ride.